With the weather today and a more powerful repeat anticipated for Monday and Tuesday, crews that clear the roads will be on overtime. KSN's Craig Andrus looks at if they have the staff to keep up. Yeah, you know, the Kansas Department of Transportation says it held its own today, and we're happy to get things cleared in the metro in a good amount of time. But they're not up to speed with staffing, and with more storms coming in, they are pooling resources and using 12-hour shifts to keep up. With real winter weather here, it's overtime for both KDOT, the crews, and troopers alike working the road. So we adjust. Um, there's typically more troopers that are out. Troopers shifting schedules to keep up with the slide offs and people needing emergency assistance and it's a juggling act with KDOT road crews. Yeah, and um, we've been short staffed ever since the pandemic, but what it really comes down to is we have bodies in the truck. As Wichita crews rest and get ready for the next big swath of winter, they're not alone. Like right now they're on, um, they've split shifts, so we have, we had a bunch of Crews go home at noon. Ashley Perez says they're still looking for KDOT drivers in the north central part of the state as well, so they keep juggling crews where they can to keep ahead of the next storm. It just might take us a little longer to get there or to get that spot cleared off, but we'll make sure that it gets done. Meanwhile, troopers maintain the basics, slow it down, keep it safe for nights like Friday when bridges and overpasses freeze, the slush from earlier in the day. On days like today, though, we're actively responding to those that are making the roadways dangerous because they put themselves in the ditch. Also, KDOT says it will continue to pull drivers from other areas for the next round of storms to keep ahead of the storm. Greg Andrus, KSN News 3.